Fortnite hackers have trolled tons of YouTubers, but one day Ninja got a random invite from Drake's real account, except this wasn't Drake. I'm not sure if Drake meant to invite me. Yo. I'll play a little bit. Things started getting weird when Drake refused to talk, but was still running around doing emotes, playing normally, until his voice chat turned on, revealing it wasn't him, but a hacker. There you go, dude. What do you do about that, man? That's awkward. And I don't think anyone's competing with the hacker that invaded Cypher PK's lobby. He was running some games with Courage and Ninja, but out of nowhere, they were ambushed by a floating gun. Oh, they're, they're here, they're here, what? He's shooting me while he's Oh, he's hacking, bro. That's actually crazy. He's hacking. He's flying? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! That's when they started to emote and really rub salt in the wound. But this invisible Midas was so focused on taking out the biggest streamers, he accidentally forgot how to play. This guy's bad at hacking. Oh, he's getting <laughs> shot at. You can tell he's nervous. Well, he's going to storm. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dr. Disrespect was the target of an unhinged stream sniper who was obsessed with trolling him. And it all started when he got eliminated by the cruelest name. Oh, uh, let's go and get that rid of that guy. But then it kept happening. Throughout the rest of the day, Doc would be humiliated time and time again by this cheater who somehow had a new name with every single kill. Hey, I made it, I did it again. I did it again! <laughs> Someone else who kept coming back was a random hacker in Vivid's game, and this guy thought he was on top of the world, flying around a quad crasher, before Vivid took him out. Get wrecked! One of the best feelings in the world, but it was quickly ruined when the guy respawned. You want it again, little bitch? Huh? Like this sh He's respawning! And then he came back again, and again, and again. <laughs> I'll farm you all day, kid. One hacker that seriously got punished was for going after Kaidos. He would go into his matches harassing him with hacks like aimbot and invincibility. Well, one day Kaidos invited the cheater into a lobby with an Epic Games employee. This is the hacker, by the way. After setting the proof of the hacks, they left the game and Proxy Blade was obliterated by the ban hammer. That's almost as insane as the semi-truck driver who kept harassing Faye Sway. He was just trying to play the game when a stray bullet ruined everything. This guy wasn't finished. Later that day, he reappeared to dish out even more chaos from the comfort of his truck. Ah! Now, the amount of skill this kid has is crazy. One of the most adorable hackers was I Need a P after he stream type Shades of Nate. All right, so I'm right, saying. Well, I'm aimbotting, so. You're aimbotting? All right. Yeah. Pleasant Park. I'll stay right beside you. All right. The kid went on an absolute rampage, showing off how many people he could eliminate and racking up 24 kills. And Nate was scared of being banned on Twitch for allowing this, so he reported the hacker and knocked himself so he could just spectate innocently. After saying goodbye to each other, he hoped Epic would ban the kid and move on until the very next game when I Need a P came back for revenge. No, he's on me. God, he God damn, you hacker kid. And if you thought 24 kills was impressive, King Richard once spent all game fighting players in Tilted, only for his hard work to be destroyed in a matter of seconds. These aimbotters love targeting streamers, and they are obsessed with trolling them. But one hacker came up against Dr. Lupo and his squad, and they put up a serious fight. He's hacking, he's hacking, he's hacking, take him serious, he's hacking. Oh, whoa, yeah, he is mm -hmm. hacking. Yeah, the hacker could have built and it cost him the win. It's pretty rare to find a cheater in chapter four though, which is why Halo BT was shocked to see his friend destroyed by an aimbotter. I don't know. That, oh my god. Aimbot? Dude, what? They clearly knew they were hacking and reported them, only to leave the lobby and immediately see this. Oh, it got banned! There's no way! Dude, I knew it! I chat, I told you guys that kid was hacking, bro. Another game that was raided by a cheater was hosted by Mama Benji Fish to celebrate her locker bundle, and Coach Timmy was excited to participate. As he ran some games, he quickly realized there was a duo seemed a little suspicious. So he opened spectator mode to view their last four games, and it's here everything was exposed. Boom! Cop that one, Halsey. Bam! Out of the way, lad. Bop. Out of the way, lad. Ah. Pow. Oh my god! Green Mike also wanted to host his own event and opened up customs for his viewers, but was suddenly invaded by a rogue hacker who wanted to troll him. Look at this, literally floating. I, I don't know why there's a hacker. Trust me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. As he's flying through the sky. 
After 15 minutes of straight harassment, Mike finally gets revenge when he backs out and finds the cheater was banned. I'm just gonna back out. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Let's go. And sadly, there's a streamer who spent months grinding for a million arena points only for it to be 10 times harder thanks to a stalker with cheats. This guy was determined to stop Ronos and really wanted to sabotage his entire leaderboard ranking. How are you even shooting me? Wait, what? Now, sadly, this was so common that Bronos got used to it until he had enough and decided to actually fight the hacker. Kill him. You, bitch! <laughs> I killed this dumb ass. Well, it's impressive he took it out. He couldn't celebrate for long because he activated self revive and, of course, came back for revenge. No. How? <laughs> Oh my god. Luckily, Mongrel's enemy didn't have self revive, but they did have the power of invisibility, which tends to make fights impossible. But as we know, Mongrel is one of the best players in the world, so this was light work. <laughs> uh, this game is so good, man. That kind of reminds me of the time Courage and Scissors were in a tournament and found out they had a hacker in the lobby. They were terrified of coming up against him, so they tried their best to get second place and move on. Well, that's when they got the end game and found themselves in a final battle against the cheater. Oh, I knocked him! I knocked him! We gotta go, we gotta get out there! We gotta go, we gotta go. We did it! We beat the hacker! We beat the hacker! Oh my god! And I'll say this, there was absolutely no way that replays could have protected himself when a chapter three no clipper started hunting him. Wait, is he cheating? No clip, that's from like, uh... Some hackers are way too arrogant, and this is the case when Loya got annihilated by a default skin from the other side of the map. Well, this guy apparently noticed she was live on stream and decided to put on a show for everyone, dancing on people's bodies and flying around in a boat. Don't worry, guys. He's just got the flying, flying boat DLC, all right? <laughs> But it's a rare moment when the YouTuber is also the hacker, and of course it had to be Jarvis, who was infamously banned for aimbotting. Well, he had a comeback stream where he claimed to be playing Fortnite on a secret account and avoiding Epic Games at the same time. Nah, guys, I'm not unbanned, I'm still banned. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I really don't know what I'm doing. This was actually an elaborate troll, and it was revealed that Jarvis had someone else playing for him the entire time. He even tricked Epic because the account was banned. And it seems like the hackers are evolving because now Peter Griffin can chase you around. Okay, whoever this hacker is, may maybe tell him to hit my line. Someone else who fell for the bait is Cypher PK. He is so used to being killed by hackers that when Bongo Drum eliminated him, Cypher got a little suspicious of their skills. A lot of ninja fans in the... Is this guy hacking? Wait! He, he, he ADS to the guy to the left? Well, there was only one problem. This wasn't a cheater. It was just a regular old Fortnite bot. Wait, no, this is... This is an AI. This is an AI. It's not a real player. This is where every YouTuber trolled by a hacker. Hope you all enjoyed it. It's been Tommy. Make sure to hit subscribe and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.